Kindergarten. Numbers from 1 to 10. Lesson 3. The order of numbers up to 10. Oh, the labels came off. Okay, we'll put them back on. I can't figure out which box had which label on it. I see that every label has a number on it. Hey guys, these labels represent the number of onions in each box. I want you to put a label on each box with a number that matches the number of onions in each box. Okay, I get it. So all we have to do is count the number of onions in each box. Okay, let's start counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There are 7 onions in this box. So the label that should be on this box is... This one. One, two, three, four, five. There are five onions in this box. So the label that should be on this box is... This one. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six onions in this box. So the label that should be on this box is... This one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight onions in this box. So the label that should be on this box is... This one. Well, now all the boxes are labeled. That was an easy job. Hey, thanks you guys. Can I ask you to do one more job for me? Sure. I want you to carry these boxes to the sales office, if you can do it. Sure, it's easy. Hey you guys, you're doing great. Hi Hill, I need help carrying the boxes. Okay, I'm the strong one, so I'll carry the box with more onions in it. The box with more onions. Then it's my box. No, my box. My box is labeled 4 and yours is labeled 6. I think 6 was bigger than 4. I don't know. Hopefully you guys will be able to quickly determine which number is larger. You are right. Now, why don't we play a little game? A game? A special game to help you quickly determine which number is larger. It's perfect for us. These cards have one of the numbers from 1 to 10. They are placed face down on a table and shuffled. Then two players choose one of the cards each and turn them over. The player who picked the card with the larger number on it wins. That sounds interesting. Okay, let's try. My card is 4. My card is 3. Now which number is larger?
Yes, the larger number is 4, Liam wins. My card is 6. My card is 5. Now which number is larger? Yes, the larger number is 6, Liam wins. My card is 7. My card is 9. Now which number is larger? Yes, the larger number is 9, Mia wins. My card is 10. My card is 8. Now which number is larger? Yes, the larger number is 10, Liam wins. My card is 4. My card is 6. Now which number is larger? Yes, the larger number is 6, Mia wins. Come on, you've got to try this game. 6 was larger than 4, just like you said. I will have Hill carry this box, and I will carry a box with a smaller number. Now we have carried all the boxes. Thanks, that's a big help. Now, I have one more thing I need you to do. I want you to line up these boxes in order of the numbers. Okay, we'll try. Let's put them in order, starting with the boxes with the smallest numbers here. Let's think about it together. Which of these numbers is the smallest? The first number is 1. What is the next number? The next number is 2. What is the next number? The next number is 3. What is the next number? The next number is 4. What is the next number? The next number is 5. What is the next number? The next number is 6. What is the next number? The next number is 7. What is the next number? The next number is 8. What is the next number? The next number is 9. And what is the last number? The last number is 10. Now we have all the boxes lined up. 
Okay, let's read. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 Oh, there is another box over there. That box also has something like a number on it. I wonder how many onions are in that box. Let's take a look. Hey, I don't see any onions in this box. I wonder if they forgot to put them in. The number on that box is zero. Zero. What does the number zero mean? Zero is a number that means there is nothing there. Nothing. Look over there. There are two birds on the roof. One bird has flown away. The number of birds left is one. The other bird flies away. The number of birds left is zero. This means there are no more birds on the roof. I understand it very well. So where should we put this box with zero? The number smaller than three is two. The number smaller than two is one. And zero is the number smaller than one. Then this box should be placed to the left of the box with one. Okay, let's count again. Zero, zero one, two, two three, three, four, five, five six, six, seven, seven eight, eight, nine, nine ten. ten. Next, let's count from the opposite side. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Zero. Very well done. What did you guys learn today? The order of numbers up to 10. And we learned about the meaning of the number zero.